Oh my gosh, I am so nervous to film right now. I never really get nervous around filming, but this is gonna be different. Hey guys, it's Sierra, and this week I am going to be face tuning, photoshopping, manipulating my Instagram photos to make myself look the way that a lot of people would say that I should look. Thinner, smoother skin, maybe brighter eyes, bigger lips. So this kind of editing and manipulating your body has been an issue for a while with like magazines and advertisements. Like here's this unrealistic standard of beauty, buy our product and you can look like this. Actually, you can't because the model doesn't even look like this. But in the past couple years, like really recently, this has become a big problem for everyone online because now you don't have to be an expert at Photoshop to, you know, pull in your thighs or, you know, make your butt look bigger. Unfortunately, those things are very easy to do nowadays with all of the editing apps that there are. It's not just for the professionals anymore. Anyone can do it and I used to do it too. I've talked about this before in another video where I reacted to my old Facetuned photos, but even just, I think that was only like three years ago, I used to edit my body in photos to make myself look on Instagram the way that I felt like I needed to look like in real life. So I hope this little experiment shows you that what you see on Instagram, what you feel like is, you know, the way that you should look might not even be real. So it's the first day. I went and did a little photo shoot yesterday to just get some Instagram pictures for me because you know, I love being up on my Instagram game, <laughs> but also to get some pictures for this video's purposes so that I could edit them. So this week, I think I'm gonna post four photos and I'm gonna get gradually more edited as the week goes on and see if anybody notices. I'm interested to see if anyone catches on, especially because I am so vocal about body positivity and not editing myself. So I feel like if some of you guys are seeing these Instagram photos and they start to look edited, especially like later in the week as I get more and more ballsy with it for lack of a better word, I'm interested to see if you guys notice, if I get any DMs, any comments, or if it goes unnoticed and you guys just think that's the way my body is looking naturally right now. Okay, so I'm gonna record my screen so that you guys can see the editing process. And I'm serious, don't do this to your own photos. So I picked the four photos from my little Instagram sesh shoot yesterday that I wanna post this week. And the only thing I've done so far is I just like edited the color slightly on like my photos app, but I haven't added any filters. I haven't done any editing to them. So today's photo is this one. And I think this is already a pretty flattering photo of me. Like the angle's flattering, my pose is flattering. I'm wearing those good American jeans that are super flattering. If you guys saw that video where I tried like jeans in a bunch of different sizes. These are the jeans I ended up getting. And so since today's the first day, I'm not gonna do anything crazy with the editing, just a little bit here and there. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna pull my arm in a bit just to make my whole frame look a bit smaller. Um, let's smooth my skin a little bit because, you know, real girls have perfect porcelain poreless skin all the time. Ooh, I'll smooth out my eye bag. That is probably one of the only things that I'm like pretty insecure about still. I get really bad eye bags, so I wear a lot of concealer under my eyes on most days. Look at that poreless baby smooth skin. It doesn't even look realistic. Like, I'm going to brighten my eyes. Oh, that is a lot of brightening. Is that too obvious? Mm, I'll bring it down just a little bit. And yeah, I think that's pretty good for day one. So here is the before and after, before, after. You know what, we can make my thighs a little bit thinner. There we go, now I've got that coveted thigh gap. I just noticed that like my zipper isn't zipped all the way up, so I'm gonna zoom in and make it look less zipped. One benefit of actual photoshopping. <laughs> Why change your body when you can just make it look like your fly's not down? <laughs> Let's save it. I'm gonna add my typical filter on it. I have like a VSCO cam preset that I usually use for my Instagram pictures. Usually I'm like way more inventive with my captions. Usually I'll like do something body positive or about something that I've been struggling with lately or about my confidence, but I don't wanna put anything like that for this kind of photo. <laughs> I am gonna go back in and edit these captions later after I announce what this video is so that anyone who's going to find those photos later doesn't think that's, you know, my real body. But for the caption right now, I'm just gonna do something super basic. <laughs> Yay for fall adventure and pumpkin spice and share. Okay, so I am back. It's been a few days. Let's take a look at these comments. <laughs> First thing I see is someone asking if my fly was undone. Yeah, it was, but your girl edited that out. Wow, okay, so this one says, girl, 
You look like you have lost a lot of weight. Congrats. It's so amazing to see your progress. You look beautiful and always have been. That is very, very sweet. But this picture is not real. And I hope that whoever left this comment does see this video. I hope Katie underscore 922, because that was honestly one of my biggest fears with doing this video and this like experiment was that people were gonna see the photo, but then not see like the posts about it not being real. So hopefully she sees that because I have lost like five pounds, but not nearly as much as it's showing in this photo because the photo's not real. It is edited and manipulated in a way that a lot of other people on social media change their body in pictures. Outfit goals, super cute, beautiful. Everyone's so nice. A lot of just sweet love and support, not focusing on my body, but there are definitely quite a few comments there asking about, you know, my weight. Oh, did you lose weight? You look so thin, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it was a flattering photo, but I also edited it to make myself look thinner than I really am in real life. Okay. So let's edit the second photo because I think this one wasn't, it was pretty subtle. It wasn't super obvious, but like I said, we're gonna get more and more obvious throughout the week. So today's photo only shows about half of my body. So we're gonna do some more editing on my face and then of course still make myself look thinner. I hate this because it makes it, oh, it just shows me how easy it is to do this kind of stuff and that so many people are doing it. I mean, I already knew that, but like, I feel like usually I'm pretty good at telling when something's edited. This doesn't look edited at all, you can't tell. That is, wow, that's a lot of editing. <laughs> then I'm gonna edit out this top corner. And again, this is something I actually would do when I'm editing my pictures, just because I don't like when you can see like dirt and stuff. Now the thing is, I'm doing the patch tool on this like fence to make it look less dirty, but people use this tool a lot for like acne and skin imperfections and cellulite as well. So just be aware of that, just because someone looks like they have super smooth, perfect thighs, they could very well just be using the same editing technique that I'm using on the fence. And let's go into my face. So you can see I have some eye bags. We're gonna smooth those out, make myself look like some little porcelain doll. I have a little bit of like skin discoloring on my forehead. So we're gonna smooth that out again. Just make myself look beyond perfection. My nose, I have some freckles popping out of my makeup that we're gonna smooth out. That is looking pretty fake, which is what we're going for. Ooh, let's even make my face look thinner because people do this too. If you edit your whole body, you gotta edit your face to match, I guess. Here's my face, it's a little round. We're gonna go in on this side and pull my chin in to make it more angular. Oh my gosh, looking at this, like it literally doesn't even look like me. At least the last one, like it still looked like me. This is like another person. <laughs> kind of fingers crossed that I get called out on this one. I want someone to notice. Let's caption this. Probably thinking about nachos, cause I'm looking off to the side. <laughs> I'm so quirky and relatable. And post. So someone caught on. So the edited Instagram picture I posted yesterday got a lot of love and a lot of sweet comments of people who didn't notice the changes that I made to my body and my face. But one girl out there, one person, she got it. So on this picture, I noticed a comment that said, I love this pic gal, but I hope you're not doctoring your pics again. She noticed. She caught on. So since she was the first one who noticed, I did decide to send her a DM. So I said, hey girl, I saw your comment and just wanted to send you a DM. Since you're the first person who caught on, I told her about what the video is and you know, yada, yada, yada. But let's just let this sink in. This picture has about 4,500 likes. And so probably we can assume like maybe double that amount of people saw this photo. So let's say maybe 10,000 people saw this picture. 10,000 people saw this and thought this was real. Thought this was me. Only one in 10,000 looked at that photo and thought, mm, this doesn't look real. And if that isn't the perfect example of how easy it is to fake it on Instagram, I don't know what is. Like Facetune was the most popular app of 2018. You cannot trust anything that you see on Instagram. We're all holding ourselves to these unrealistic body ideals when half of what we see on Instagram isn't even real. I'm sure plenty of people looked at this photo and thought, oh my gosh, look, she's so thin. Look, her skin is so smooth, but that's not real. I guess the point that I think this video is really proving to me is that comparing yourself to anyone but you is never gonna make you happy. 
and half the time what you're comparing yourself to isn't even real in the first place. So let's get into today's photo. Now I'm really gonna over edit this photo. I'm against a brick wall so it's gonna be pretty easy to manipulate my body without there being like any remnants, any curves, any lines that look abnormal. So I'm just gonna make my whole body look smaller. Hips, waist, bust, everything. But I'm gonna keep my hips a little bit wider so that I still have that like hourglass shape. Okay yeah that is a huge change. Okay now I'm gonna smooth out. I do have a little bit of cellulite on my legs and I have like a little scratch from Bella. So we're gonna smooth that out and make my skin look unrealistically perfect. Now let's go up to my face. Edit out some imperfections on my nose, my forehead. We're just gonna basically make everything look fake. Everything is fake. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate that this is something that people actually do that I used to do before they post an Instagram photo. Like I, I feel weird enough doing this for a video when I'm literally just trying to prove a point. The fact that this is so accepted and that people literally brag about like how good they are at face tuning their photos and like make jokes out of it. I just, it's so, oh, oh, it makes me feel slimy. I hate it. Okay. So we're gonna save this picture. Okay, let's go in on Visco Cam and add my little filter. So let's post it, check in tomorrow. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these comments from the photo on the yellow wall that is highly, highly doctored. So a lot of the comments are actually complimenting me on the outfit, which obviously isn't edited. So thanks everyone who liked the outfit. That was all me and no editing involved in that part. But there are, along with that, a lot of comments, you know, complimenting me on my body, complimenting me on how pretty I look. And, you know, I think this was a really good photo before I edited, like I really, honestly like this photo more before the editing, but what they're seeing is not real. My skin is not that smooth. My face is not that poreless. My waist is not that small. I mean, Instagram already is very curated. You know, even before this photo was edited, I'm in a flattering pose. I'm in an outfit that I like. I have makeup on. I'm in, in front of a cute little yellow wall. That is already enough of a kind of like facade versus real life. Adding in the editing on top just manipulates that even more. We're looking at these photos of people that we think are perfect and wishing that we looked like that when half the time it isn't even real. So after that photo, I went in and edited this really cute picture of me on a pink wall, but I edited it even more to make myself into that ideal beauty standard. And I'm gonna post the side by side tomorrow. You guys have already seen it if you're watching this video and expose myself, I guess, for this video and for editing my pictures for a week. I wrote up a little caption that I feel like really sums up my feelings on this video, this topic, this whole idea of editing yourself on social media. So I'm just gonna read it to you guys. I think it kind of like sums up my feelings on this little experiment pretty well. This is not real. Instagram is not reality. For the past week, I did a little experiment, editing my photos more and more throughout the week, manipulating my body to be thinner, my skin to be smoother, my photo to be less me and more of the ideal beauty standard. So many women do this on a daily basis, perfecting their Instagram photos to fit the unattainable standard of beauty. We see these photos of the perfect body. We wonder why we can't look like that. But the truth is that can so easily be faked. We're comparing ourselves to bodies and photos that half the time aren't even real. Honestly, I like myself more in the before photos. I like myself when I have some cellulite, some uneven skin tones, some extra weight, because it may not be perfect, but it's real and it's me. So if you follow me on Instagram and any of you guys notice that these photos were edited but just didn't say anything, let me know down in the comments. And if you're someone who feels the need to edit yourself in pictures, I really strongly encourage you to leave that behind, leave that in 2018. It might make you feel left out. It might make you feel like everyone else is editing their photos or everyone else has this body and you don't. But by taking yourself out of that cycle, I think it's the start of making it more acceptable to have cellulite, to have some extra weight, to not have a perfect poreless complexion. And I am never, ever editing my Instagram photos again. Obviously this was just for a video, but it still made me feel kind of like slimy. So if you wanna see some body positive, unedited photos, head over to my Instagram and follow me because everything that I post is real. Obviously it's staged, it's posed, it's Instagram. I love an aesthetic feed, but 
it's still me. It's not edited. It may be, you know, a flattering pose or a cute photo location, but it's not fake. It's me. It's real. And that's the message that I want to spread. So I hope this video was interesting to you guys. I am really glad I did this because I think it just shows how easy it is to fall into that trap of comparing yourself to someone when it might not even be real. So if you liked this video, subscribe to my channel for more fashion and body positive videos. And I will see you guys on Friday with another new one. Bye.